Welcome to our lecture online. On our next example, we did something similar before, but we changed the plus 8x to a minus 8x here, again, with the idea that we're going to have to divide by a negative number, and so we'll have to flip the inequality symbols. But here we have to recognize that we have something between absolute value symbols is greater than or equal to 12, which is case number 2. We can, of course, also solve it like this. Let's do it both ways. First, we'll take that method right there. So that means that the value of minus 8x plus 4 is going to be greater than 12. And of course, we need to write greater than or equal to because we have the equals to sign there. And then we can say, or the quantity minus 8x plus 4 is going to be less than or equal to a negative 12, just like what we have over there. So now we have to solve those independently. First, we're going to bring the 4 to the other side, so we end up at minus 8x, greater than or equal to 12 minus 4, and over here we have minus 8x, less than or equal to minus 12 minus 4. So we moved the plus 4 to the right, it became minus 4. Now we combine on what we have on the right side, so we have minus 8x, greater than or equal to 12 minus 4, which is 8, and over here, minus 8x, less than or equal to minus 12 minus 4 is minus 16. Now realize we have to divide both sides by a negative 8 over here and a negative 8 over there to get rid of that negative 8 in front of the x. But since we then must flip the inequality sign, we have to rewrite this as minus 8x and 8. We do the same over here, minus 8x and minus 16. And since we're going to divide both sides by negative 8, we must flip the inequality sign. This becomes less than or equal to, and over here, we divide by negative 8. And of course, then we have to flip the inequality sign, becomes greater than or equal to. So now we can go ahead and simplify. On the left side, we have x is less than or equal to negative 1. Or, because it's an or condition, over here we get x is greater than or equal to a positive 2. And then if we were to graph that, we have a positive 2, we have 0, we have a negative 1, make that a little bit bigger, there we go, and notice that it does include the endpoints, so we include negative 1 and positive 2, anything greater than positive 2, to the right this way, and anything less than negative 1, which is to the left this way. And that's how we solve that. Can we do it like this? Certainly we can, as long as we realize that's an OR condition. So we're going to write the absolute value of minus 8x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 12. And then, let me get a different color, we're going to write it like that. We're going to take the negative 12 is greater than or equal to minus 8x plus 4, which is greater than or equal to a positive 12. So we have it just like this. Now remember that this is an OR condition, because you can't possibly have this happening at the same time. So now we continue. First of all, we're going to subtract 4 from all three sides right here, or not all three sides, but all three portions. So minus 12, greater than or equal to minus 8x plus 4, greater than or equal to 12. And then in red, you can see what we're doing. We're going to subtract 4 from that, 4 from here, and 4 from there. You have to do the equal thing on all three portions of the inequality. Minus 12 minus 4 is minus 16, greater than or equal to minus 8x, greater than or equal to 8. 4 minus 4, of course, cancels out. And then finally, I have to divide every portion by negative 8, but to do that, I'll have to flip the inequality signs. So minus 16, minus 8x, positive 8, since I'm going to divide everything by a negative 8 to get rid of the numerical coefficient in front of the x. Notice I will flip the inequality sign around like this and like that. Now when we simplify this, we get a positive 2 less than or equal to x, which is then less than or equal to a negative 1. Again, that's an OR condition, not an AND condition, because it can't be an AND condition. And if we then graph this, Notice we have the positive 2, 0, we have the negative 1, 
we have to include the endpoints, so we have solid circles right there. X greater or equal to negative 2, that means to the right. And X smaller than equal to negative 1, which means to the left from here. And of course, we should end up with the exact same result as what we have over there. And that is how it's done.